Uh, we have several structures uh, from the jawline down that uh, respond to aging. And uh, the first one is our skin and our skin starts getting a little bit saggy. And then the muscles underneath, those can start sort of sagging as well. And then we also have some glands underneath here. And those glands provide saliva for our mouths, which is very important. But they also are suspended up underneath our jawbone and they can start sort of sagging down. Um, so when someone looks in the mirror, those are the things they see. And then the last one is a little bit of fat. You know, we all have a little bit of fat in our necks and uh, little fat deposits as we age can start developing there and becoming a little bit larger. So those are the areas that we look at when someone comes in and says, ah, my neck and my jawline just aren't what they used to be. So how does my elevate work and why did you as a surgeon develop something that was the midway point between aesthetic treatments and full surgical intervention? Sure, sure. So, you know, your question is so valid. And, and here in Beverly Hills, I've been in practice since 1998. And people come in just like you, just with your same story. You know, I looked so amazing. And then all of a sudden, I started seeing these changes. And so when my Elevate came into my mind or, or when the concept came into my mind is it was my frustration with someone like you who came in and they could see changes. They would show me pictures of them five years ago, you know, even sometimes a year ago, people change quickly. And that can be hormonal changes. That can be changes in life, stress, divorce, you know, love lost, love gain, new job, old job, whatever. And so I was frustrated because the big surgical procedures that me as a board certified plastic surgeon were trained in were just too much. And so where I found the whole My Elevate concept to be perfectly fit was for someone in between, someone who was just starting to see some signs of skin sagging, muscle sagging, maybe a little bit of fat deposits. I found that My Elevate fit that space perfectly. And, uh, you know, it gave us a way or gave me a way of addressing the muscles underneath the skin without having to surgically open the neck. And so that's how it works is it, it helps to reshape that foundation. Let's go back to what happens in, in your practice in Beverly Hills. So you mentioned earlier on that uh, someone like me would be a great candidate for my Elevate because I've noticed the initial signs of uh, sagging, gravity, aging, but I'm not quite ready for a facelift. And, you know, we're seeing in the media and certainly social media recently, the lot of much younger, younger celebrities are opting to have a facelift. And there's, you know, rumors about who has had a facelift recently, you know, in her forties and, um, in a, in addition to rapid weight loss. So I'm curious in your surgical practice, who are some of the other candidates that you think might elevate, you know, men, women, uh, people who are not necessarily experiencing aging but have got some um, issues in their jawline and neckline? Who are some of the other people that my elevate could be good for? And, and similarly, who shouldn't try my elevate? Yeah. So, so in my practice, I see patients of all ages. Um, you know, young patients who come in and, you know, maybe this person, you know, a beautiful woman, she was born and genetically she just has sort of this ski slope neck that goes down from the chin to the chest and they don't have the beautiful definition underneath the jawline. So that person, even though they're quite young, their muscles were just developed genetically to sort of sag in this area. And so they are great candidates for my elevate to help sort of recreate the neck that they didn't get from their parents. So those are great candidates for my That's elevate. really interesting. Yeah, I, I, I didn't think of that. That would be a great tool because who would want to have, you know, a neck lift surgery, but if you can contour and sharpen that line. Oh, absolutely. And, and, it, and it just does such a great job for those patients because, you know, maybe their sister or, you know, even men, you know, young men may come in and they say, my brother has this beautiful jawline, but I didn't get it. I got mom's jawline or, you know, dad's jawline. And they, they want to have like a more, you know, sculpted jawline and more snatched jawline. So those are perfect candidates. And those uh, patients, we may remove a little bit of fat. And then we have our patients who are 
just starting into the aging process where they're noticing a little bit of sagging skin, kind of like what you and I were talking about earlier. Just yeah. you look in the mirror and you're like, oh, it's just not as sharp as it used to be. So those are great candidates for uh, energy. And, and what I mean by that is we may add radio frequency energy or laser energy. I use the Sinusure technology, which is called Precision TX. And I pass a laser fiber under the skin during the procedure to tighten the skin envelope. It kind of shrink wraps it. And I may remove a little bit of fat and then I place my Elevate. So those are great patients. And then just this morning, I just saw two patients, a man, and I'm going to do a neck lift on him. He's 67. He's retiring tomorrow. So you're going to do a surgical neck lift on him. But I will use my Elevate as my way of sewing the muscles. So even though I'm removing skin, I'm still relying on my Elevate to sculpt the area underneath his jawline. So I don't have to surgically open it. And then I saw a lady. I'm going to do her facelift. So I will do all the deep plane work, lifting the smas, remove some skin, and then I will use my Elevate to make her jaw, everything underneath the jawline look amazing. So that's where my Elevate does its magic is under the jawline and along the jawline. But everything above, I still can combine it with my Elevate. How long will the result of my Elevate last? And what is kind of and when does it kick in? Let's let's start with when can you see the visible results? And then when do you have peak result and how long will it last? Sure. That's, those are great questions. So the thing I love about this procedure is the next day, and that's probably the reason I still see people the next day. We really don't need to, but we just do because we want to check in with them. And we want to do the reveal. We want to hold a mirror up and let them see. So they see it the next day. It's just beautiful. You just see the beautiful shaping. So it's immediate results. And then the bruising is there, you know, for about six to 10 days. The results, I would say, um, at six weeks, you're about 90% healed. But with the laser and energy that we use under the skin, like the Precision TX, it's really a year before the full healing is has, has taken place. But we have patients who are five, six, seven years after the procedure, and we have everyone look down when they come in for their pictures, and we can still see it lifting things up. Now, the skin but is going to... Up to f- after five years, you can still oh, yeah. see the result. Wow. The very first uh, suture suspension I did, which was the predecessor of my Elevate, was in October of 2007. And we have patients from back then who come in now, we'll take a picture of them looking down and you can still see they have some support. Now the skin's going to age and so on, but they still have some help under there to kind of hold their jawline up, which is great. Now you said that um, it can, the results can last for up to seven years in some of the patients that you've personally treated. Um, But if, if we weren't, if we wanted to get ahead of it, let's say like, you know, with filler and um, tox and other treatments, you don't want to wait until everything's gone. You normally want to just get slightly ahead of it. Um, How often would would it be practical and uh, recommended to have my Elevate procedure? Sure, sure. So I have, you know, I have several patients. I've been in practice for 25 years and and my first my Elevate procedure, which was sort of the the uh, first one before it evolved into the My Elevate was in 2007. So those patients come back. And so I've had several who every five or six years, they come back and they say, am I ready yet for a facelift? And I'll say no, but you know, your muscles are sagging a little bit. Let's just do a lo- another little My Elevate. So we'll just inject some numbing medicine. If they've got a little fat that grew in there, we might remove that. And then we would just place a new one and we just place it right over the old one. So, but I also have patients who come back and it's, you know, it's been 10 years and they tell me, you know what, I love my neck and I'd like to have my eyes done. I'm still really happy with my neck. So, you know, I don't know how those people would have aged without my Elevate, but I can just tell you, if you have a little corset in there that's sort of hidden and nobody knows about, it's going to slow down the aging in this area. So I think these folks age a little better and they've got that secret support system there called my Elevate. I think that's a really interesting thing that you've touched on is that regenerative side of um, beauty is really gaining uh, speed. And I spoke to Dr. Cohen from San Diego about stem cells and um, fat grafting in his surgical work. And um, 
many other things that I've read and uh, doctors that I've spoken to, Dr. Stephen Victor, uh, who's a regenerative medicine doctor and um, dermatologist, you know, just um, the power of using your own cells, blood, um, collagen to regenerate the skin as part of a, a much more holistic approach to regenerative medicine and surgery. So I think it's really interesting that, uh, you know, you as a pure surgeon are also really interested in, in using that and tri- and and identifying the skin as, you know, a, a huge part of the conversation, not just the surgery. Um, because it, it is true, you know, there, there has been, um, a lot of, um, research done, as you, as you would know, that people judge aging by the quality of the skin much more than they do by the number of wrinkles. Yes. Yes. And if, and if we can help our patients address everything, then that, that I think is just like the golden goose because then, you know, the, the skin quality is, is so beautiful and there's reflection of light on the skin. And, you know, when someone gets older, when the skin just becomes dull and, and wrinkled and, and just sort of like, you know, dehydrated and so on to see what things do, like what Dr. Cohen told you about is, is amazing to me. You know, the exosomes, that's a hot new area. Uh, platelet rich plasma, all those things. So you're absolutely right. I think this is the future of, of where cosmetic medicine and plastic surgery is going.